welcome to the fourth and final game of the session. Um, up this time is Once Upon a Dungeon. Once Upon a Dungeon is a roguelike game with a dense atmosphere and a challenging gameplay. Explore dark dungeons full of deadly foes. Deadly foes. Uh, defeat them using physical power or, or mighty spells. Meet Slavic gods, discover how to awaken them, and unleash their power. Craft magic items, craft unique ones, enhance your attributes, and face the main antagonist. The Fallen One. So, yeah, this is a, a roguelike. Um, looks like a fairly standard one, at least from the outset. But uh, Twilight was assigned this one, so over to him with the full report. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, the, what's upon a dungeon? It's basically a roguelike uh, dungeon crawler. You are a pirate who got caught pirating and has a choice of a, a punishment with either execution or to be um, or to be sent into this uh, dungeon to clean it up basically and and hope he survives um, unlike his predecessors did. Apparently, this has been a common uh, punishment in the kingdom that he uh, is in. So yeah, the yeah, basically, you are uh, gameplay-wise, um, you know, traversing this uh, dungeon in a, in a turn-based manner. Um, you know, the you move as as does the enemies uh, in sync, and um, you go around uh, searching for um, loot, ranging from money to potions. Uh, um, various weapons and armor as you fend off um, various foes, typically um, zombies, skeletons, um, demonic hounds, and various other things, um, just by simply bumping into them. Um, of course, your uh, other method of combat is uh, magic, which you acquire through uh, scrolls that you can collect. You can hit a vast range of those. Um, fireball spells, recovery, um, buffing spells. Um, uh, fairly handy. Um, I, myself, uh, pretty much most of the time is stuck to uh, melee combat. Um, <clears throat> my weapon was um, primarily a knife which was, um, or dagger, whichever one you want to um, call it, um, um, which usually isn't my <laughs> um, um, uh, usual choice of weapon, but I have discovered since there's a status effects in this game, um, which is like burn, bleeding, poison, those are actually really overpowered, um, uh, especially early on, um, especially this uh, dagger I found. Um, <clears throat> uh, that had a, both um, poison and the bleeding stats effect in it, and uh, and I was using it on enemies and constantly um, causing them to get the stats effects. And what went from usually being um, about six or seven hits um, turn into like two or three just because of stats effects. So I stuck with it and eventually ended up finding a stronger version of it and just took it and went on my merry way. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, all of your equipment that you um, collect um, all have their own special abilities um of resistances of various sorts, um, as well as uh, certain boosts to certain statuses, um, like health and mana, um, or strength, um, and the other statuses like defense and magic, and uh, yeah, so it's in terms of stats actually. Um, you also have uh, like 
abilities as well. Um, these are uh, like um, how much health you can recover um, or how much mana you can recover. Um, your mastery in certain weapons uh, as well as uh, your melee and, and uh, magic defense. And um, let me see here. Or, there's some other ones as well. Your mastery of traps and um, hunting knives. Um, yeah, you, um, you have these uh, items, um, a hunting knife and a, and a trap item that you can... The trap item you can set to let enemies walk into them. You can walk into them yourself and take damage from it. And uh, I never found them, at least the... Um, the traps be um, particularly useful. Um, I tried them out once or twice. It at least did some damage to the enemy. I was uh, fighting a um, the, the, these uh, types of enemies called champions. Um, there's a souped-up version of the normal enemies. Um, this was a vampire, I believe, is what it was, and um, you know, I was. Um, trying to get that as much space between me and it as possible because I was having some trouble with it. Um, and I set the trap down to hope, see how much damage it would do and they didn't really do much, so I never really bothered again beyond that. I killed the vampire, though, so that was good. So, yeah, I found that, yeah, magic is a little more useful than the traps. The hunting knives... Um, you throw them at the enemies. Um, and I guess it's supposed to be like your alternative to magic for the fireball spells and such, at least. Um, I didn't get much use of them either. I always uh, prefer to up close and personal in, in terms of combat in this game. Um, the, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, the... Um, yeah, besides champions, there's also um, bosses as well. Um, there's special enemies. Um, and you know you we are fighting a boss when it actually starts talking to you, uh, demanding that you join them for some reason, or they'll tear you apart. There's a yeah, bit of a, a tad bit of voice acting in this game. Um, your character, he uh, talks, um, as well as uh, some merchants. I'll get to them here a little bit. Um, and some of the bosses um, talk as well. I do say that your character, um, at least he did all right. Um, his voice actor did an all right job. Um, the bosses is just... Simple, big, deep, threatening voice. That's about it. At least I can discern what it was saying without needing to read the text. <laughs> um, yeah, these um, the bosses are pretty much the most threatening thing ever in the fight in this uh, in during my play through this game. Um, so this, so this game has avoided the classic roguelike trap, or classic rogue trap, I should say, not even roguelike trap of goblin on first level that randomly rolled wand of kill. <laughs> Actually, uh, they ran into goblins until a little, a little bit later. Um, they were not much better than anything else I fought, though. Um, yeah. It's that, in the original rogue, that's a thing that can happen because it's randomly generated. There's the monster is randomly generated and it can be a goblin and then it can randomly mm -hmm. roll to have a magic item and that magic item can be a wand of death. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the, if you get unlucky, you could take it like a huge chunk of damage um, from Maybe the champions, at least the uh, normal enemies. Um, that's the only time you're really in trouble with them is if they gain up on you, get you from all four sides, and those are actually some pretty uh, nasty situations. I have died a few times this game. Um, um, 
thankfully you have the option to turn off uh, permadeath if you wish. I did, of course. I don't like permadeath. So I yeah kept that off. Um, Does the game have any meta progression, or is it just fully randomized? Um, full fre- I should say full fresh start on death. Oh no! Uh, yeah, thankfully, um, about the worst thing that happens is um, you lose some of your progress and um, your um, I think it downs you a level. I think uh, that's okay. about it. Yeah, I kept all my equipment and my items. Just lost everything that um, I collected. So um, <clears throat> I sort of sucked at one point, but every other time it was kind of a, this. I shrugged my shoulders and just went on, <laughs> just make sure not to goof up again. Um, and see here. Um, yeah, there are, as I was saying before, there are merchants in this dungeon. Um, um, you uh, will find them on each floor, and um, I assume some of them are different people. Um, in some cases, um, one of them had a brother um, that you had to go search for. I never did find the guy. That was actually on a not the actually my last um, um, session with this game before I um, stopped. Um, <clears throat> and um, you have to save one of them otherwise they're never any, in any danger I mean there's a, there's a quest to save at least one merchant to, when you're being introduced to them and, you, know, now you don't have to worry about them getting hurt or anything like that um, there's actually a spell you can use um, to summon a merchant if you need one which is, is actually really handy and yeah they'll have random items on them usually they'll have health and mana potions and some equipment and some magic dust as well as this which is used for the crafting in this game um the crafting uh, it's nothing complicated really um pretty simple and straightforward um you collect recipes um usually from loot or um or in some cases, a merchant might be selling a recipe. Um, and these recipes are uh, usually um, use this equipment to get another type of equipment. Yeah, some there's some random RNG type deal going on here, uh, with the um, crafting. Um, yeah, you take a piece of a some equipment you probably don't want and take some magic dust and at least this is for one of the recipes at least and, um, and you randomly get another piece of equipment like armor turns into a helm um, a sword turning into a wand and so on and so forth that didn't find that to be of any use um, there is a uh, potion crafting, a potion crafting recipe that I got a hold of that was and kind of handy. And there was also a uh, take two pieces of equipment with two magic dusts and and together those create a stronger item that you a stronger variant of those two that you can that you use. Uh, it has to be the same type of equipment. Um, two body armor or two helms or two swords of course and um, that was handy to some degree but um, I didn't get all that much use out of it I was mostly just using the um, the um, potion crafting one there was also like a recipe for random recipes never could make heads or tails of how that worked exactly so yeah, another useless one. So, yeah, just stuck with potion crafting. Yeah. Let's see. Um, 
There's also the uh, this piece in the gather seals. Um, seals are um, these uh, pieces of the veins that you can. They're kind of like a special key, basically, for opening certain doors. Um, I did. I thought there were furry animals that lived in the ocean. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> um. Yes. Yes, for um, special doors, I never did open any of, the, any of those. So I can't really say what you would find behind them. I did complete one, but never could find the right door for it. There was like one level of this dungeon um, that had two of them in. Well, actually, one section of this dungeon that had two of them that I didn't really feel like going back and trying the other doors, so uh, I figured I'd try again with the next level, but yeah, that never did work out, so um, <clears throat> yeah, I can't really say much about that. I just know that there's like, you'll find a room every now and then that has to seal doors, and there's also these uh, hidden rooms as well that the um, um, that might have them inside. That was one of the cases. I was like a good ways away from that room and didn't feel like um, going back to it. Luckily, there's no concern about um, respawns. But see, I just didn't feel like going back. <laughs> um, that you find pieces of these seals and you just have to put them together in the, the special menu for them. This them together and complete one and use it on a door that you're looking um, that um, it's used for well not all doors are made equal apparently in this case <laughs> um, anyway um, oh yeah the Slavic gods um, yeah um, yeah you every now and then you will come across a, one of these um Statues that's of these Slavic gods. Um, like, uh, I came across, um, you know, it was a uh, Purim in uh, Swalowit. I can't say his name, but yeah, the one was Purim was a god of lightning, the other was apparently of like. Hammers, apparently. Um, you will find these uh, pieces of wood um, that you use to sacrifice to them, and um, and um, yeah, you give them the right number of these pieces of wood, and um, they'll gift you an item. Um, Burham gave me a lightning scroll, um, a lightning orb scroll that came in handy in a few cases. Um, the other one. Um, he gave me a, a hammer weapon that I didn't find much use for, but yeah, you can get a special gift that you might find useful on occasion. Um, and sometimes if you get an enemy near them, they'll actually attack the enemy if I had a perm shot a bolt of lightning at one of them and it damaged them. And there's even a spell um, for summoning them and actually helped me out quite a bit. You know, in one case, I think it actually, that was actually on the video I recorded here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, their assistance seems to be dependent on range, so you got to feel like the enemy has to be like right near them or something like that. There's actually a little meter that shows up above them that comes off as saying, yeah. How close they are to attacking, basically. Uh, I think of anything else that I should note. Um, eh, I guess not. Um, there is a um, difficulty setting here. Um, on the game, there's normal and hard mode. Um, uh, 
I didn't really see any difference between the two. There's even an easy mode as well. Um, yeah, between normal and hard, I didn't really know much of a difference there. Um, I mean, the enemies were noticeably stronger, but that's about it. I didn't really have any trouble with them when I was trying it out. I actually had a bit more difficulty on normal before I got over the knife and started stabbing things with it. <laughs> and poison them and cause them to bleed out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I didn't mention I'm about the quests. Um, yeah, they're quests. I complete this objective, get rewarded for it. So self-explanatory there. Um, yeah, overall, when it comes to the gameplay, um, it's it was fun at first. I wasn't sure how I, much I would like this game when I was first my first started up, but um, once I actually got start um, got rolling along, it, I was in, actually enjoying it um, for a good while there, but. Um, yeah, the one of the most notable flaws, and this can be a notable flaw for all dungeon crawlers. Um, dungeon design gets repetitive after a while. About the only notable difference I ever did see was um, after a while, the dungeon would change in terms of a aesthetic, but that's about it. It's the same old go through several sections with a row of doors in front of you, go through those doors and so on and so forth, find hidden rooms here and there, fight champions or, or bosses eventually, find a set of stairs to go up and rinse and repeat. And yeah, so if you're familiar with the how dungeon crawlers usually work. It'll just depend on how much enjoyment you get out of this. Um, like I said, I was in a, enjoying it for a while there, but yeah, you know, the repetition started to get to me, and I yeah eventually just didn't play as much as I would have liked to, and I was interested in seeing what this fallen one that that gets mentioned once or twice. Um, Throughout the game, uh, one of the merchants actually mentions it at one point. Oh, that you stayed on the floor too long, now a powerful enemy appears thing? I never did um, encounter anything like that. On occasion, okay. you'll find a little like box or something like that or, a, or this powerful enemy will pop out of and attack you. And nah, It's usually a thing where like, if you stay on a floor too long, you get warnings that careful something's coming oh yeah like reaper and persona games yeah yeah that's <laughs> it, that is exactly based on the classic rogue uh death monster or whatever i never did encounter anything like that uh my progression was never really halted very much so yeah you usually have to try at yeah least early on. yeah if there was anything like that i Never did encounter it. Might have been a thing on hard mode, but I never. I didn't stick with hard mode long enough to encounter anything like that. And yeah, I was just curious because I'm watching this play footage, and it really jumps out to me that this has taken the classic rogue step of using graphics that, while they are fancied up, could functionally be replaced with ASCII. Yeah, the um, graph. Uh, yeah, the graphics are fairly simple. Um, you know, it's it's yeah, it's not even about the complexity of them. It's about the fact that each individual possible thing outside of the menus has one appearance and always looks identical. There's no facing. There's no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, sometimes I have to. Um, on one occasion, there was this. Um, I noticed how vampires and these wizard type enemies looked alike, and I actually had to kind of get a closer look at them just to see is that a vampire or one of these other guys. There were barely any notable 
difference in appearance between them. And otherwise, like the boss of uh, the champions, like I said, they're buffed up uh, normal enemies. They just got an aura around them. That's about it. That's really different about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, everything's kind of um, like I was saying before. Besides the uh, repetitive dungeon design, all the enemies uh, are kind of samey looking. Um, I mean, skeletons, skeleton. Well, I guess that would be more to say a uh, not a great deal of variety in enemies and their appearances. Well, anyway, yeah, the. In terms of the visuals, uh, it looks all right. Uh, nothing amazing. I mean, some nice detail here and there, but that's about it. Um, I can't really say much about, about the graphics, but um, because of what you see here in the footage. Um, in terms of uh, the music, though, so, uh, uh, and audio, uh, the music, uh, um, sound like just about any other kind of music I heard for uh, an RPG when it comes to dungeons, the dark, um, abyss type dungeons, and some. So it's kind of sort of creepy music sometimes. It's eh, some gener- other kind of generic sounding music. Uh, some of it's all right. Um, otherwise, nothing all that memorable. Uh, that's all I can really say there. Um, I mean, the, the top screen music was actually quite nice. Um, but otherwise, the rest of it just doesn't really stick out to me. Um, um, some of uh, the sound effects, um, they work. Um, uh, you got your generic hitting sounds like um, the slashing or baning type sounds. Uh, enemy dies and may lay out a just generic roar like cry. Um, really, in terms of sound of uh, any other sounds, uh, the um, voices kind of stick out. Um, like I said before, if some bosses actually talk to you, they threaten you or something like that. And yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Can't really say much else otherwise. So, um, yeah, in terms of pricing, let's see here. Um, this game is four ninety nine, five dollars. Um, yeah, I could actually, I say I could uh, recommend it at this price. Um, yes. Um, basically, uh, if you like dungeon crawlers. Um, um, I can't really say anything that really s- s- would stick out um, from any other dungeon crawler. So, um, I guess if you don't want the first person view type, then we'd rather play a uh, top down um, 2D graphics style dungeon crawler. Um, yeah, say so go for it. Uh, it's just five dollars. Um, you can give it a shot. To, actually, I think um, under uh, you can find this game on itch.io as well, and they have a demo over there. You can try it out to see for yourself um, if you uh, would like to get it. Um, so um, yeah, I can recommend it. Um, just do you like dungeon crawlers? Um, do you know what to expect from them? And if you do. Yeah, give it a shot. Uh, it's a good uh, time killer, at least. I, uh, otherwise, uh, 
I didn't find it all that challenging myself. Um, I'd say the challenge would really be more if you don't mind permadeath. Just turn that on and go you know, to hard mode and try it out. Um, try it out there. Um, so otherwise, uh, it's an all right game. Uh, that's really all I can say. Um, I had my fun with it for a while there before the repetition set in and got bored. So, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, Adam? Adam, you there? Yeah, right. I'm, I'm pretty well done here. <laughs> okay. All right, then. So, anything else to cover? Well, uh, does anybody have any questions before we end this review? I'm good. Not really. I'm good. All right, then. Yeah, I'm good, then. All right. So that'll about do it for Once Upon a Dungeon and, indeed, this review session. Coming up on the week ahead, let's see. On Wednesday, March 3rd, we will be having Corey Cole of Transolar. Uh, they are the makers of the Hero U game that we covered not too long ago. Uh, nothing on the Friday show, or nothing on Friday this week, uh, morning or evening. So... Until Wednesday, I shall wish you good gaming.